Good morning, girls and guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have got a GT86. And this one is hiding a little secret. Well, it's not quite little, but there it is. We've got another turbocharged GT86 in the building. So on this one, we are going to be replacing the suspension. We've got a set of Tyne coilovers from Lark Speed Leads. Rob up there doing a brilliant job as always. Uh, so um, we've got Tyne coilovers to go and diff bushes on the rear, which will involve removing the... Um, I think we've got to remove the diff on this one. I can't remember, but either way, we're going to, we're going to go on this journey together. This is uh, soon to be a Trek car slash Trek weapon. And let's get involved. So if I haven't said it before, because we're setting the height at 590 on the front and 600 at the rear, when the car's on flat ground, just measure, get your measurements, make sure you write them down so you don't forget them. Now, first off, lube is your friend. As I've always said, lube is your friend. So we're gonna undo the two drop link bolts. I've already got the wiring out of the way on this side. Fizz them off. I think they are 19s or 21s, I'll confirm in a minute. Um, but yeah, luckily we got these off and they didn't break. So that's always a bonus to the situation. Pretty good, drop links out. Two 19s here and I forgot about the brake pipe. So uh, being Japanesey, I'm gonna say 12 mil, let's find out. It was indeed a 12. Right, this side's ready to go. I'm gonna strip the other side and then take both shocks down at the same time. Nice and easy. Side two is out free, single and ready to mingle. I lay it down, undo the bolts from the top, drop a shock, drop the other side and get the tying coilovers ready. Okay, we have whipped out both shock absorbers like an unwanted wedgie in a public place. Now they are both on the floor. These will be going up for sale because they've got IBAC Pro springs on them and they're in good condition. So if anyone wants them, drop me a message and I'll put you in contact, contact with the customer. Now, over to the Tynes. Yes, or Teen, Tyne. Who knows? I can see a, a whole topic of conversation over how I'm not saying it right. All right, we've just literally whacked the coilovers in, uh, tightened up on the three bolts on the top each side. Uh, we are doing a laser alignment on it after, so we will talk you through that as well. Uh, I actually need to speak to the customer and see what he wants in terms of camber and toe and so on and so forth. So now we're gonna assemble down here now. Right, so we've um, we've adjusted the coilover up a little bit because obviously I reckon it was gonna be too low. Uh, the drop links, although they're adjustable, I've set them roughly to the same size as the original ones because we're going similar height give or take up a little bit. Uh, you do need to set these up when they're flat. So we're gonna do that on the four post ramp when it's ready for alignment. Um, so in the meantime, we've completed the front. We just need to double check, double tighten and mark everything up. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to the back. So rear wheels are off. Now to gain access to these, uh, you remove this bolt, this bolt, and go inside the boot and it's another two 12 mils and we'll have the shock out on both sides. So it's nice and easy, remember, lube them all up and everything will work nicely. Then we're gonna move on to the diff bushes. And no one's looking forward to that. So trims out and it's 240 mils on that side and on that side, and then it's yeehaw the shocks out. Okay, they're both in just loosely on the nuts. Uh, remember to pop these caps out because obviously we've got adjusters, which I'd forgotten about. Um, now, little top tip in this is if you rest it, if you can see, Rest it on the lower arm and it will line up and then just nip them up and then get everything rebolted back in there at the bottom. So, all good. It's all back together. We're just gonna bring it down and try and adjust the height. We're gonna get it as close as we can, but don't forget these are gonna settle. So what we do now will come undone on its own shortly and then we'll have to readjust it again. But it's trying to get it right first time is always the key. Okay, been for a little road test to settle the suspension down. Now it's time for alignment. Oh, this place is a mess. So that's without any adjustments. Not bad. Right, wheel alignment is all good and set. We have gone for 2.1 on the front negative and 1.4, I think, on the back. Can't remember now. Um, and we've gone zero to all the way around. So now we're going to take for a little road test. So we were going to be doing diff bushes on it. However, we don't have gearbox oil for this, uh, diff oil for this. So there'll be another video on this to just simply do diff bushes and to give it one more check over with geometry and everything else. So now it is time for a road test. Back from road test, got that waiting for me next. So this one is done. 